This project is titled Building Dyson Dice Mini Solar Panels Using Fruit Payments by Wee Chuan Victor Ong Yi Kun, and Tan Hui Yu from Dunman High School. This is a solar cell known as a Dyson Dice Solar Cell. It is a type of photovoltaic that can be used to lower the cost and make solar panels more accessible to the public. It is fabricated using various dyes extracted from um, various types of fruits and vegetables. The research team and objective of our investigation is to find out what are the factors affecting the efficiency of the DSNC operations and to test for what are the characteristics in the dye we should be looking out for that will affect the overall performance of the DSSC. We will approach the research topic in question by creating a mini dye sensitive dye solar cell. The traits of the fruits and their dye will be observed, for example like the colour, uh, pH and concentrations of anthocyanin components present. Following the completion of each solar cell, we will test the voltage produced to determine the efficiency of the solar cell. And that's the time taken for the solar panel to break down to determine its durability. This allows us to draw a conclusion as to which the uh, dye is the most efficient and what are the traits present for the dye to increase efficiency. From this research, we have identified that certain key factors affecting the efficiency of dye sensitized solar cell operations include the types and concentrations of anthocyanin compounds present in the dye and the ability of the dye to absorb light energy. So uh, to further elaborate, let's look at the results obtained in the table shown here. Um, from this, we constructed a graph in which we are range the results obtained from the about the voltage of the dye sensitized solar cells in a decreasing order of the intensity, which is how dark red or purple the dye is. The trend can be somewhat observed that as the intensity of the red or purple colour of the dye increases, the voltage produced by the respective solar cell decreases. This is likely due to the anthocyanin pigments present in the dye having a red or purple colour in nature. The difference in colour of the dye could indicate a difference in the um, total anthocyanin pigments or the presence of different types of anthocyanin compounds which have different colours within the dye. Um, for example, the apples and the grapes which have a very small concentration of anthocyanin pigments produce a very small amount of voltage. It is also possible that due to the darker colour, the dye in the dye sensitized solar cell is better able to absorb light energy in order for a more effective and efficient reaction to take place. The dye sensitized solar cell constructed by the plums lasted for the longest duration of um, 738 seconds as compared to the rest of the fruits. Now we refer to the types of anthocyanin compounds present in the dyes respectively. Um, it is observed that the majority of the dyes contain the common anthocyanin compound cyanidin. A similar pigment shared by three dyes with reasonably well performing dyes with dye solar cells um, is phenylgolidin. This pigment could be possibly be identified as a key anthocyanin pigment to look out for in the dyes as contributing factors to a greater voltage being generated by the dyes with dye solar cell. Um, the three dyes are blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries. The plums which demonstrated an outstanding performance in terms of the duration of the DSSC last one, contain pionidin, which is found to be not present in most of the other fruits other than grapes, which might have contributed to the longer time it lasted for. Therefore, an ideal dye which should be long-lasting and produce a greater amount of voltage and higher efficiency should contain the anthocyanidin pigments pelagonidin and pionidin at high concentrations. The intensity of the purple color observed in the dye obtained from the fruits is also capable of indicating the resulting level of performance of the solar cell. So overall, the black berries are concluded to be the most suitable for making the dye in the dye solar cell. Finally, we are doing all this in order to make solar energy more available in this society. It is a public effort to reduce the global reliance on non-renewable energy.